Um, first and foremost, our goal is always going to be to to play harder than everybody. It's just uh, a goal we set uh, to start every season, and then I think um, you know to compete for a NEAC championship to qualify for the postseason, and um, you know get to where we're competing for league title and NCAA berth every year. I think my coaching philosophy is very much centered on player development. Uh, we're going to be a team that that defends full court um, and kind of getting back to you know playing harder than people. Uh, we spend a lot of time and energy preparing ourselves to defend and um, at the same time working on skill development and then you know recruiting talented guys and putting them in a position to be successful within the framework of whatever our offense might be. You know, Just like in my time at Delhi, we have a great product to offer potential student athletes here at SUNY Poly and um, you know to be out and rec recruit talented student athletes and then um, you know develop a system that fits them as opposed to them coming in and always having to fit our system. Uh, I hope that our identity is um, when, when people have played us that they, they know they were in a battle for 40 minutes. We're going to guard and we're going to rebound and do all the, the little things. I, I think we have to. to uh, be tired after the game. They better be tired and they better feel a little beat up. Um, yeah, because it's going to be a fight for 40 minutes. The team looks good. Guys are working hard. Um, you know, uh, I think one of our big challenges at this point is is developing depth. Um, you know, and so that that the recruiting becomes huge. But you know, we've got a great senior point guard um, has played a lot of college basketball uh, in Maverick Hodge and uh, Khalil Johnson, who's a junior forward, who you know has been a two-year starter here. So guys with a lot of experience that we're hoping uh, we can lean very heavily upon uh, in the early going, while some of our young guys develop and. And grow up a little bit. We've talked to them a lot about uh, accepting the challenge. It's a great challenge and um, I think those are two young men that are up for the challenge and so that right there makes me feel more confident about it. Um, I think they're both winners. They've had a lot of success at the high school and college level and um, I think they're embracing the team that we want to be which makes it easier for young guys to follow them and they're both natural leaders. Um, I think our younger players really gravitate towards them and it's just uh, we're very fortunate that they're doing the right things, um, you know, to lead our team. I, yeah, how, how you feel? I've actually, I, I'm fairly familiar with the conference because I've had a handful of Delhi players come and play in the league. Mm -hmm. um, I think the league is pretty underrated. Uh, I think if you look in the last five years, you know, across all the New York State, you know, Division Three conferences, Empire Eight and SUNYAC, um, I don't know that anybody's had more success in the NCAA tournament than the NIAC. And so expecting it to be a battle in our league every night, home or on the road, um, you know, I think Morrisville, where they are right now, is, is where everybody's striving to be, you know, winning games in the NCAA tournament. And um, I think it's a good league. And uh, I'm excited for the challenge. How do you like Utica so far? I'm going to like it a lot better when, I'm, when I have my family living here. <laughs> um, but this place is great. The people have been great to me. Um, and just really excited to become a little bit more part of the community when uh, we're living here and we can be a little more involved with stuff. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, Coach, thank you very much. Good luck this season. Thanks, Dan.